Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here. So, um, in this super short video I want to say a few words about the Soft UI dashboard, the Django version, uh, which is listed on the Creative um, Marketplace. The product has been updated to, to the latest UI version from the provided by Creative Team. And also the Django code base now supports a teamable UI which means uh, the, the design files are no longer shipped uh, hard-coded inside the product and uh, uh, basically are pulled during the installation from an external library. Let's uh, take a look at the live demo. So once we access the, the product, we can see here that uh, this um, default page is uh, um, available also for guest users, but in order to unlock the pages, we need to sign in so the product comes with default login so we just need to click on the sign in button and uh, we can see here on the left that uh, we have all the all the pages provided by the um, uh, by this design so the product looks good is uh, built on top of booster 5 uh, comes with a persistent dark mode and we have all the authentication flow uh, provided by, by Django, like uh, sign-in, registration, re recover password, and all the, uh, all the, all the entire flow. Uh, it's, uh, it's implemented and styled with this, uh, with this team. And on top of this, uh, design is also extended to the um, uh, admin section reserved for super users, but uh, for, uh, live is not provided a super account or super user account okay let's um, access the, the product source code which uh, sources can be download downloaded from here directly from this account or simply uh, we can go to, to github and uh, just uh, use the, the source code from here the readme comes with a descriptive installation uh, information that uh, explains how to um, create a virtual environment, migrate the database, install all the, um, all the stuff, and uh, run the server. Um, besides this uh, new architecture that is shipped in, uh, in this uh, version of the product, um, now we can uh, simply deploy the, this uh, Django starter uh, on render uh, deployment uh, platform and I will do this uh, in the coming minutes basically if you have a render account which is a uh, Heroku like deployment platform uh, we can simply um, uh, deploy the product without much efforts and also the um, uh, we, we have a, a continuous integration continuous deployment flow which is um, available based on uh, these two files so render.eiml basically informs the render the, the type of the product and um, also other um, other things like the entry point and the, uh, the, the environment. Um, this uh, build.sh is it's a super simple desk script that uh, upgrades the pip installer pull the dependencies uh, collect static for uh, for production and also migrate the database. Let's uh, fork the project. I will uh, duplicate the project here under my account. Okay. Once the source code, once the project is uh, is duplicated, uh, I will uh, edit render.yml just to have a unique uh, name for the service under my account. But this step is optional for you. Um, okay. Now, with this uh, URL of the repository, we need to go to the render dashboard, go to the blueprint section, click on the new blu blueprint uh, instance, drop here the the URL. Okay, so render detects the type of the project based on that YML. We need to put here um, a name for the service and just hit the apply button. And uh, probably in less than one minute, the product uh, it is live, is up and running, and uh, also. Um, 
has this uh, continuous integration continuous deployment flow connected which means uh, when we um, update the code base uh, the uh, changes are pushed uh, into the live uh, instance okay we need to go here and check out the, the compilation logs you can see that uh, all the dependencies are properly installed now the migration uh, of the database is almost finished and uh, soon the project should, should be up and running and uh, we can access it in the, in the browser other cool things provided by this uh, by this platform is the environment we can put here some circuits for the for the application um, in the settings we can uh, associate a domain a subdomain here so basically now the product is deployed under uh, Django soft whatever dot on render dot com but we can assign uh, uh, our own domain or subdomain and uh, will be transparent for uh, our users okay let's uh, access the UI so basically it's the same thing we are live I didn't do much uh, the product looks good let's create a new product here register test test at creative team Com. I will uh, type here the password just to avoid the typing mismatch here if the product is uh, if the user is successfully created and updated uh, we are redirected to the sign-in page and uh, we are good to go this is the product product supports also RTL mm, layouts uh, profile and uh, other things as I said the dark mode is persistent and in my opinion the product looks super super nice so guys thanks for watching Adrian here from uh, creative team let us know what you think about the project uh, the license is MIT which means you can use the product for um, e-commerce for uh, commercial uh, projects for to incorporate the source code in your uh, project you can sell the end product to an agency or end client it's completely your choice and um, in all cases we will uh, assist and uh, uh, provide support uh, regarding this uh, amazing uh, amazing starter thanks for watching again Adrian here and uh, as always I wish you all a super super day bye guys